Whether you were a star athlete or the wear and tear of everyday life has finally hit, hip replacement surgery is something a lot of people need to have in their lifetime. Dr. Bartley Hosick is an orthopedic surgeon at Prince William Hospital and has all the info you need to know. Welcome, Dr. Hosick. Thank you. You know, first of all, I guess, I guess for starters, when do people start out seeking your help? When they just have a little pain or when it's just close well, a lot to of people, the end? A lot of people tolerate some degree of pain. It would, when it becomes intolerable to them or they start to limit their lifestyle, most people come in because they have noticed that they can't do simple things like tie their shoes anymore or climb stairs or they're avoiding daily activities because their hip is painful or stiff. So there's a variety of things, but it's usually when it reaches a level that the quality of life starts to drop. That's what okay. brings them in. So then tell me about single incision anterior, oh, arterior total hip arthroplasty. Anterior, yeah. <laughs> anterior arthroplasty. Well, hip replacement's been around for a very long time in the, in the world. And uh, starting in France some years ago, there was a, a gentleman designed a surgery that does not cut muscles because one of the big criticisms of hip replacement surgery is that a lot of large muscles are cut okay. and people limp and they're more sore. And so uh, that was a procedure was designed that does not cut the muscles. They're simply pushed out of the way, which has a lot of advantages as a patient. It's less painful. The recovery is faster. You are walking more normally, much more quickly. So it's been a nice advance in hip replacement surgery. My dad actually had both hips replaced, and it was the best thing that could have happened for him. The recovery time wasn't that bad. Is this something that only older people get or young people can get hip replacement as well? No, arthritis occurs at all ages. Some people have problems from youth, actually. And we'll see the, I think the youngest person I've done surgery on was 25 years old. Really? Uh, so it's of all ages. The majority of people are certainly in their 60s, 70s, 80s, but uh, it's not infrequent to see people, certainly in their 30s and in their 40s, that have debilitating problems with their joints. So it is not simply an older person's disease. And then why should they come to Prince William? For this procedure? Well, Prince William has a, a lot of advantages. I, I think, think of it as an undiscovered gem, really, because we're uh, a hospital that was the first in the state of Virginia to receive the, a gold uh, seal for hip and knee replacements from the Joint Commission, uh, which is a national certification for the hospital. We have a dedicated total joint unit with nurses that only care for total joint patients, so we separate them for infections. And our infection, which is a very serious complication of hip replacements at our hospital, is about 40% of the national average, so we're less than half uh, the national average for a probably the most serious complication of hip replacements. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, that is very encouraging because if I needed something like this, I would want to go to a place where they do it a lot and they do it well. So that, you know, that's very encouraging. Now, you talked about the recovery time being very fast. Kind of walk me through that, if you will. Say someone decides, okay, this is what I, what I need to do. They go in for your services, your surgery, and then what? Well, we try and get them walking the day of surgery, actually, which is new. Many years ago, there was uh, people who used to spend weeks in the hospital from joint replacement surgery. And so now, generally, with, particularly with the minimally invasive surgery, we try and get people walking in the hallway the first day. So it's a very rapid, there's really no downtime. And wow. uh, physical therapy starts immediately. And uh, most people are walking with simply a cane within a, a week or so. So it's really uh, very rapid walking up and down stairs within 48 hours. So we try and return people to as normal a level of function as we can as quickly as possible. So it's much faster than it used to be. So you would say kind of, I guess, typically the total time would be a couple weeks? Well, it depends. Part of its age. You know, as, as we grow older, it takes a little bit longer to recover from these procedures. But certainly if someone is active and, and in good physical health beforehand, by four to six weeks after surgery, they're back at work, walking with unsupported, and hopefully have returned to a fairly normal lifestyle. Yeah. Well, you know, as I mentioned, my dad had this done, and he was, you know, trying to do things as soon as he got home from the <laughs> hospital. That might have been the other way. Right. I don't know that that was necessarily such a good thing, but, you know, it definitely helped his whole lifestyle. Well, the, uh, a lot of recovery is definitely uh, not so much the technical aspects. A lot of it's mental, and it is, as long as the patients are committed and they understand what uh, they're in for, and which is a lot of our job to educate people before right. the surgery and after so that they're not being blindsided by, you know, aspects of the recovery they didn't anticipate. And so, like in your father's case, you know, we don't want him to overdo it, but certainly the more active and involved the patients are, the more quickly they recover. Yeah, good. Dr. Hosek, thank you so much. All the best to you. Thank you very much. And we'll have more Let's Talk Live coming up right after this.